Hi everyone. This week's video is based on a suggestion from one of our families and it's about baby led weaning. We've been talking about baby led weaning a lot lately at our four month well visit when we start to introduce foods to babies. Solid foods are considered anything other than breast milk and formula and baby led weaning is one technique that we can use to introduce babies to foods other than breast milk and formula. The weaning part comes from the British who have developed this concept. It's not weaning off of the breast, it's actually adding complementary foods. And that's what weaning is when the British are speaking about it. So the baby led weaning, it helps fine tune motor development. Um, it lets your baby have good hand-eye coordination when they're bringing the food to their mouth. Um, it also promotes healthy eating habits because it allows them to stop eating when they are no longer hungry. Instead of us spoon feeding them, putting it in their mouth, where you might give them a couple extra spoonfuls of food where they don't actually want it or need it. And some tips about baby led weaning. Number one, wait for your baby to be ready. Just because they're four months old doesn't mean a baby is ready for it. They will be sitting up a little bit better. Some babies are actually ready for a high chair at that point. Their neck control is better. They'll be looking at your food, wanting to eat as well uh, as what you're eating and reaching for spoons. Those are all indications that babies are ready to eat. We want to start with softer foods. Um, and the rule is bigger is better. People get worried if it's so big will they choke. Well, if it's bigger than their mouth, a big ripe piece of avocado, a ripe piece of fruit, a stalk of boiled or steamed asparagus or carrot, something like that is a very good food to start with. And basically what they'll do is suck on it and chew it and get it up their nose and make a mess. But it's also a wonderful way to introduce babies so they can feel the textures and the different tastes of foods. So don't expect it to work for everybody. Baby led weaning is not for everyone. Um, but it is definitely a tool that you can use to help feed your baby all these solid foods. And please don't panic. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes we cough, we choke, we solve things the wrong way, but there's a mechanism we have to kind of get things up. So obviously we're doing this supervised and we will be there if something like choking was to happen, um, but definitely don't panic. Yeah, and the big thing is babies are going from swallowing a lot of liquids and bypassing the chewing mechanism to now moving that bolus of food around in their mouth. So even though there's no teeth, oftentimes, they will still be able to move the food around and that might present as something like a gagging kind of motion. It's important to stay calm and make sure that you, you don't show the baby that you're worried because the baby will say, every time I feel this feeling, I guess I should get worried too and panic. So we want to eliminate that to make this a really wonderful experience. One final thing um, to note whenever we're feeding babies anything other than breast milk or formula is that there is sugar in everything. And we talk about this a lot lately. 70% uh, of our food, especially packaged and processed food, has sugar in it. So whole foods are our best bet. Those are things like real foods plucked from a tree or foods that come from the earth. Those are better than packaged foods. So when we start to feed babies, Yes, there will be puffs and yogurt melts and things like that, but also whole foods are better um, as well as those kind of starter foods. Um, we hope this is a really fun experience. We found that babies who are through the baby led, wean baby led weaning process are actually better eaters, they have better tastes for food, and they stay better eaters when everybody kind of goes downhill in toddlerhood. I always want to remember that we can eat to live and not live to eat. Well said. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.